morning, y'all. Well, it is day 22. And I'm leaving Tri-Corner Knob Shelter. And the rain finally stopped last night. It's pretty foggy and it's very windy. And it's about 40 degrees. And I'm headed either to Davenport Shelter today or I may go past it. That would take me out of the national park here. And that would allow me to set up my tent and I could camp anywhere I want, as opposed to here in the Smokies where they don't allow that. So yeah, either way, it'll be a little, probably my longest day hiking uh, as of yet, but it'd be nice to get out of the park and just find a tent spot or camp near a stream or whatever I can find. So that's the, that's the news this morning. So let's get going and I'll talk to you later.
So I decided to go ahead and kind of step up the pace and exit the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Um, you know, the first uh, four days of my hike here was kind of snowy and cold and rain and hail and the whole bit. But this last day has really been beautiful. But I was ready to uh, move on out of the park uh, so that I had a little bit more liberty in camping. So the last shelter in the park is actually Davenport Shelter, which is where I was going to stay. But I moved on past the, the boundary and dropped on down into Davenport Gap. So who is this guy, get Davenport? Well, for about 100 miles, the Appalachian Trail runs along this Tennessee, North Carolina border. Sometimes you don't even know which state you're in. And there's a very rich and complicated history um, from this point down the trail. And it actually ended up going all the way to the Supreme Court. The original survey uh, that was completed in 1821, um, after the two states had been created uh, by Congress, um, and there was some confusion over these overlapping lands. The original survey um, was done by William Davenport, and that was back in 1821. And the state of North Carolina actually did their part and confirmed the boundary, but the Tennesseans never got around to actually confirming their side of the deal. And about 100 years later, there was an argument over whose land it actually was along this area. And again, it went all the way back to um, the Supreme Court. They had another survey done. And lo and behold, in 1915, uh, with better technology, they actually found the survey to be exactly the way William Davenport had done it with a lot less resources and um, tools to actually you know, find the actual dividing line as Congress had uh, set out to, to divide the two areas. But uh, it was exactly as William Davenport had laid it out. And it stood, and thus this gap, which is where Interstate 40 comes through between Asheville, North Carolina, and Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, as well as the uh, shelter that I just mentioned, was all named after William Davenport. And now you know the rest of the story. So, thanks again for everybody for watching. Uh, Again, I appreciate all the comments. I haven't been able to see a lot of them, but I know that they're coming in because sometimes they uh, ding on my phone. But uh, the plan is to uh, camp here tonight and uh, push forward tomorrow toward Max Patch and then into Hot Springs on Monday. So uh, yeah, this brings day 22 to a close. So good night, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.